In this demonstration, we will show you how to control more than one iOS device using the same switch control. In this demonstration, we have an iPhone that has been paired with a Bluetooth switch, but we also want to use that same switch device to control an iPad. We we'll start by going into the scanner menu in the lower right corner of the screen. I also have mine configured so that a wrong press will bring up the scanner menu, but we're doing it this way. Navigate over to device, and then there are two pages of device settings. We go down to the second page, and the second row, the third item over, says use other device, and we select that. Now we have to wait for it to discover other devices. The iPhone and the iPad need to be in close proximity and both need to be connected to the same Wi-Fi. There it says Chris's iPad and we select that. And then we connect. Note the message at the top says we can cancel it by doing an extremely wrong press. Now let's see what that looks like from the iPad side of things. Watch the top of the screen for a message saying that we're connected. And there we have it. Now we have switch control of the iPad. Now let's see how we relinquish that control back to the iPhone. We go down to the scanner menu. We select device. Notice that because the iPad is bigger, the layout of all of these options are different. But on the bottom row, there's one that says, stop using this device. We select that, and we no longer have control of the iPad. Now let's see what it looks like on the iPhone side after we've relinquished control. Watch for the message at the top of the screen that we are no longer using the iPad. And there it is. We now have control of the iPhone again. For more information, visit my blog at tech.cyborg5.com or my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash cyborg555.